just below the blue waters of Pearl Harbor, the USS Arizona still bleeds her oil. The rising beads are referred to as black tears. Roughly every 20 seconds, the solitary droplet floats slowly to the surface. Up to nine quarts of oil escape from the submerged battleship's hull each day. An oily sheen fans out from the remains of the Arizona, mixing with the warm waters of the Pacific. On Saturday, December 6, 1941, the battleship had taken on well over a million gallons of fuel. The next morning, Sunday, December 7, I've been mooring off Fort Island in the heart of Pearl Harbor. The Arizona was a fiery mess of steel, burning human flesh, and oily black smoke. The 30,000-ton battleship had become a blazing king for the most 1,200 sailors and marines on board. Just 18 minutes into Japan's surprise attack on the Hawaiian island of Hawaii, a bomb from a Japanese plane ignited the Arizona's forward ammunition magazine. The time was 8.06 a.m. on Sunday, December 7, 1941. There was a place in Wubba lubba dub dub motherfuckers. What's going on everyone? And uh, this would be, yeah, December 7th is just a day or so away. And December 7th, 2021 would be officially the 80th anniversary of the tragedy that took place at Pearl Harbor. As the Japanese basically fucking did a sneak attack on us and... Uh, pulled us into World War II. And what I have here in front of you is actually something I had written many fucking years ago on the S on the USS Arizona. And it's actually one of the reasons why I got interested in the Arizona was doing this essay paper back in middle school. And for the first time ever, I'm going to read it in its entirety. So for the tribute to the Arizona and a tribute to all the men that lost their lives. I hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, you like the shit I'm doing, fucking hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. 90% of you guys fucking watch my videos and don't fucking subscribe. Why the hell not? So, so here we go. This, uh, this was written back when I was in 8th grade, so... Story of the USS Arizona. I know I spelled it wrong. The tragedy at Pearl Harbor. Essay by David Allen Urban Jr., renowned maritime historian. I thought of myself highly, didn't I? Did you know that the blast from the USS Arizona blew men off other ships and threw tons of debris, including parts of bodies, all over the harbor? The USS Arizona was built on a slipway. The first thing to be done was the keel or the bottom, and then the sides of the hull and the bulkheads, and some of the top decks, and then it was christened with a big bottle of champagne and slid down the waves. True fact, actually, uh, why I interrupt. She was christened with two fucking bottles, a bottle of champagne and a bottle of water from Arizona, which people believe that to be a curse, which that's, they believe that probably would curse the ship, and later on people would bring that back up after she sank. Which I really don't fucking believe in that shit, but whatever. <clears throat> After being greased up with tallow, grease, and oil. The first thing was the fitting out basin to install the boilers, engines, and the interior. Next was the construction of the superstructure. The length was 608 feet long by 106.2 feet at her widest beam. The draft was over 28 feet 10 inches and the displacement was a whopping 34,207 gross tons. The speed of this monster vessel was an air gasping 20.7 knots. The unique thing about this ship was her armament. It had, she had 12 14 inch 45 caliber 70 ton rifled guns mounted in four super firing triple turrets. Two forward and two aft. Next we have eight 5 inch 25 caliber single mounted guns 
located at the top of the superstructure, deck house, and four to a side. That's enough to blow any enemy out of the water and send them back to the moon. This monster, the monster price tag, was a whopping air gasping wallet breaking price of around $12,993,579.23. Wow, that was a lot of money. The people who constructed this beast was the Brooklyn Naval Yard of New York. The captain of the USS Arizona was Captain Franklin Van Valkenberg, and the admiral's name was Isaac Kidd. The 1,760-pound 1, projectile that was hurled from a Japanese bomber reportedly striking near turret number two and penetrating deep into the battleship's innards before exploding near the forward magazine. In a tremendous blast, the Arizona blew up. In an instant, the blast from the Arizona blew men off the decks of surrounding ships and threw tons of debris, including parts of bodies, all over the harbor. Abandonment at 10.32 a.m., the ship's burning superstructure and canted mass loomed through the smoke that blanketed the harbor. Now, with that much gunpowder, it went off with quite a bang. Before the Arizona was sunk at Pearl Harbor, she had a long career in the Navy. She had been in the Navy since before World War I. When the United States Navy modernized or updated the ship, she had been with the Navy for 22 years. They took off the old wire stacks and added one small short stack in their place. Then they added the modern bridge, the conning tower, Admiral's Bridge, updated the guns and the ammo loading system. Before too long, the USS Arizona looked like a modern battleship, all spick and span all the way up to the top of the decks. Then, indeed, the Arizona looked new again. During the attack, the Arizona looked like a massive bulk of flaming iron and steel. The ship sank very quickly to the bottom of the harbor upright, and she was still on fire after it sank. It took two days to rid of the smoke out of the harbor. The ship where more than 1,100 men died burned all day in the shallow waters of Battleship Row in Pearl Harbor. Of all the men's bodies that were recovered from the Arizona, there was a total of 1,123 men that died on the ship when she exploded and sank upright in Pearl Harbor. That horrible day we know as December 7th of 1945. The aftermath of this bad disaster was they had left the ship where she sank as a propaganda tool for support for the war. And after the war, the remaining section of the Arizona superstructure was removed and a memorial built over the rest of the wreck that was left. Today, the Arizona lies inches under the water in Pearl Harbor. The USS Memorial, yeah, Arizona Memorial is a tribute to all those who lost their lives during Pearl Harbor attack. Thousands of people come to see the ship and pay their respects to the men who are still trapped in the ship's hull today. If you look closely at certain parts of the wreck, there is oil leaking out of the hull today. Experts say that there is still a couple thousand gallons of oil still left in the fuel tanks as of today. A lot of people say that one day the oil may come out one big gush of black gunk. As one veteran said, when the last drop of oil is out of the hull, the last soul will be sent to heaven and all at last will be free. And these are some of the cited pages that I used while writing this um, writing this. As you can see, I did a lot of writing. I did lots and lots of writing and research as you can see. A lot of research. See, as far back as January of 2006 is when this was being done. Here's something I didn't add into the thing. Here's a suffering three ma near misses and two direct hits from 800 kilogram bombs dropped by high altitude Kate's, which are the bombers. The last bomb to strike her penetrated her deck starboard of the turret two and detonated within a 14 inch powder magazine. The resulting massive explosion broke the ship into ship into two forward the turret number one, collapsed her forecastle decks and created such a cavity that her forward turrets and the conning tower fell 30 feet into her hull. She was a total loss. She remains where she sank to this day, a tomb for 1,102 men.
And of course, there's other information that I wrote down. So I can't believe I still fucking had this, but when I, when I found it, I knew I had to do something about, you know. Yeah, I knew I had to write something about it. So, there you go, guys. This is my reading of my original essay, The Story of the USS Arizona, The Tragedy of Pearl Harbor. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little introduction that I did with the video, which was a clip from the Newsmax documentary, Pearl Harbor Remembered. And uh, let's take a, let's have a moment of silence, if we can, please. For all the men that lost their lives, not just on the Arizona, but all the men that lost their lives that day at Pearl Harbor on the 7th of December of 1941. May God, may God be with him and they may rest in peace. Thank you for watching this video and please... Please let's never forget the Arizona and never forget Pearl Harbor. At least we forget. As President Roosevelt said, it is a day of infamy. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And if you're new to the channel and love the shit I'm fucking doing, hit that damn subscribe button, hit the fucking notification bell, and be a member of the Commoners crew and never miss another video again. Until next time, this is Commander Irvin. Saying, let there be smooth seas and clear skies and happy sailing with all of it. God bless you all. And until next time, I'll see you later. And uh, God bless everyone. And God bless the poor men of Pearl Harbor. May you all rest in peace.